Hey doers, and welcome back to this new e-commerce video. Today, we'll talk about customer accounts and checkout policies. So when it comes to your e-commerce, you may want to decide if customers can check out as guests or if they are allowed to create an account during the checkout process. We also talk about the customer portal, more commonly known as customer account in general. So let's see it together. So here I am on my database, and as usual, I want to go on websites, configuration, settings, and if I scroll down to the shop checkout process section, I have the option sign in or up at checkout, and I have three options. So first is optional, which means that uh, customers can either check out as guests, so without an account on your website, or they can log in or create an account on your website. Everything is possible. Then you have disabled, which means that they can only buy as guests on your account, or they can log in on their account if they already have one, but they cannot create a new account, right? And uh, last is mandatory, which means that they can only check out if they have an account. So they have to create one if uh, they want to check out, and if they don't have any. All right, so I'm gonna go with optional. Uh, I will save my settings, and then I'm gonna go to my home page. I log out to pretend I am a regular customer. So here I am on this amazing new uh, website, and I see they have this awesome sarcasm t-shirt I want to buy. So I'll take it, um, I'll add to cart, proceed to checkout. I want to check out now. Uh, everything is fine, the price is fine. Process checkout. And as you can see, um, when it is um, uh, optional, you can either fill in your address and continue as a guest customer, or you can click on sign in. And this is where the customers can either sign in or they can create a new account by clicking here on don't have an account. If you chose uh, the option disabled, they could only log in, but they would not have the option to create a new account here. What if I only want to allow accounts for some selected customers, say B2B customers, for example? That is a good question, Rui, thank you. So let's say we are back on our uh, settings. Let's say we have a B2B to a customer. So that means we only want select customers to buy. So we'll go to mandatory, of course. We'll save our setting. We're going to go to um, e-commerce, customers. And we have right here uh, the clothing company, which is a B2B customer. We click on it. And in the action button, we can grant portal access. And from here, we can, of course, grant access. We can revoke access, we can re-invite, and they will receive an email um, telling them, hey, you can now access our new website, yay. So that is pretty much how you do it. And how can my customers access their customer portal? Well, let me show you. So if we go back to, let's say, our homepage, uh, when we click here, so the customer clicks on the little icon, it says my account. And from here, they can access their quotations, their sales order, their invoices, bills, projects, whatever they have uh, ordered or anything related to your account and their, uh, to your website, sorry, and their account. And additionally, uh, as an admin administrator, if you go to edit, you can customize uh, the way the customer account will look like. So let's say I want to add some text uh, underneath this, for example, and um, maybe they don't need timesheets and tasks. It's only quotations, it's on bills, for example. We can go to customize and we can disable timesheets and projects. When we save, the customer will only see this, so these three menus he needs, and maybe something we put uh, underneath, like an image or a text or whatever. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. And as always, remember to check our online documentation for more information. See you soon.